Okay, so today's video is something maybe not, maybe a little bit more different for me, but not different in the fact of that I do makeup videos. So, one of the important things to know when you're watching someone's videos is to know what kind of skin type they have because the products they use might not work well for you because you have a different skin type. So, I have a couple of books here that kind of list off characteristics of different skin types. So I already have a general idea of what my skin type is and if you've watched any of my videos you know my skin is greasy. <laughs> so I decided to pick up two books from the library with um, listing the characteristics of different types of skin. The first one that we're going to look at is the Makeup Manual. This was published in 2017 so it's fairly recent. But most of the times, you know, skincare is pretty much the same. So for this one, they have four different types of skin. So you've got your normal. It feels normal, you know, whatever that means. So there's, there isn't any oiliness and dryness is pretty rare. So for my skin, it's pretty, pretty oily and um, they're, they're part, your pores, if you have normal skin, they're not visible, they're not large, and that's not the case with me. <laughs> um, you rarely need to touch up any powders. Once again, not the case for me, so we can eliminate normal skin as a possibility. And they have a fairly skin, even skin tone. And I, I find that generally to be the case with any type of book or quiz. Um, what is skin tone? Basically, it's how your skin looks overall. I have red patches and all over my face, so that means my skin tone isn't even. So if that helps. So the next from the makeup manual is oily, which, I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. That's what I am. So you have larger pores, you're open, you're, you're more prone to have shiny skin, which we all know that's what I have. I just play it off as like a nice glow because that's how it translates in my photos, but I'm oily. It's, you're more prone to blackheads and pimples and your makeup doesn't always stay in place. Mine is always coming off in the middle of my forehead and around my nose because that's where I find the grease is the most. <clears throat> Next is dry skin, which is dry. <laughs> you have almost invisible pores. Your skin is dull and rough, which I actually do get sometimes. So maybe I'm not full oily, but we haven't done all four types, okay? Um, your skin isn't as elastic, so it feels, it tends to feel tighter and you have visible lines and I mean, I'm 31, so I'm going to have lines regardless, so I don't know if that, and combination is the last from the makeup manual, your part, your pores will look larger than normal, you'll have blackheads, you have shiny skin, and you have dry areas, so I think it's safe to say that I'm more of a combo skin than oily and you know I, I anticipated that but now we're gonna move on to makeup masterclass by Gemma Kid. so this this book and I'll show you a picture this book was published in 2012. It's a little older, but it has a lot of information. It's actually a fantastic read if you're looking into getting more information about makeup. Um, sometimes I find reviewing older books alongside with the newer published books really helps to mix the information together. They have a more cohesive and you get to understand a little bit more. So, let's get into this. So, for once again, there are Four, there are four categories, but this one included a new category that wasn't included in the makeup manual And I think this category is far more important and they talk they touch on um, sensitive skin So I would say there's more than four or five skin types, but I digress 
So normal skin, soft and supple, even skin tone with no enlarged pores. You know, there, that's not happening here. I took some very flattering photos and I'm either gonna post them. I'll post them in the video, but you can see my pores are far from little. <laughs> they're not as big as some, some people's, but they're not small either. They, um, people with normal skin rarely suffer from breakouts and once again in the video, you'll see Todd over here just hanging out. I named them <sighs> because they're gonna be around for a while. And you never react to skincare products if you have normal skin. <sighs> Can be also known as com like I, they also put um, a combination skin alongside normal skin, which I thought was kind of refreshing as far as skincare goes. Um, and they also talked about dry dehydrated skin. So if you have, and they also provide skincare tips, which I thought was so much nicer than the makeup manual. Because if you're going to try and find out your skin type, you're probably trying to find out a way to treat it and to make it easier to deal with, especially if you put on makeup. So there's that. Um, they also have dry skin. It can look flaky and dull. It's tight, especially after washing. And you would show signs of aging and you will have a crepey appearance, especially around your eyes. I mean, that's gonna happen the older you get. I, I so there's really nothing wrong with that. Oily, so now we're back to skincare types, skin types obviously, oily. It looks shiny and greasy, or glowy, as I prefer to tell myself. You have visible open pores, which we've touched on. Mine are visible. And you're prone to break out of blackheads. So basically, it's kind of the same general idea throughout anywhere. You're just prone to having more breakouts if you have oily skin. So this one was actually my favorite. They included sensitive skin. Um, it ten like if you have sensitive skin, your skin tends to be itchy or bumpy. Um, you're, you'll, you'll flare up more if your products contain allergens, so you want to use stuff that's a little softer, uh, maybe fragrance free, and you would burn easily. Now, I'm, you know, I'm a Métis person. I'm native part, well, I'm native, I guess is easier to say, but I don't burn. I think I've only burned once in my life, so we can cross sensitive off the list. However, there are you know, people who do burn. That's just luck of the draw, I guess. I'm not saying that because I'm native. I've never, like, I don't burn at all. No, we burn sometimes. Okay, now for the Makeup Masterclass, they also included some tips for your skin, which I really appreciated. So we're gonna go into the normal combo dehydrated skin. So if your skin's de dry and dehydrated, drink more water. This is coffee, so here we are. For your skincare products, you wanna use a higher water content and a protective moisturizer, which makes sense. Yeah, duh. Um, you wa um, you, you want to use like a cream blush and an oil serum for your foundation and oil based products because your skin is going to be a little bit drier if it's dehydrated. So you want to do as have as much moisturizing products in your skincare and your makeup as possible. For oily, once again you want to keep your skin hydrated with water based moisturizers rather than oil. Um, don't overwash your face, simple enough. Um, use oil-based cleansers, which is what I do. So with my oil-based cleanser, I basically just pump it onto my skin, rub it in, add a little bit of water just to activate the oil, and then wash it off. Um, you want to avoid oil stripping products for your skin, so you don't want to use anything with a lot of alcohol in it or drying content. Um, you want to use a mattifying primer which I probably have somewhere in this mess. Do I use it? No, because I don't wear much foundation. 
Um, so a silica based um, foundation is actually, or a sil silicone based um, primer is supposed to help your skin and I had no idea. I was just like buying primers left and right and being like, I hope this works. <laughs> never did but now I know a silica based primer might be more helpful for my skin um, they suggest using mineral powder foundations or a lighter foundation because your skin is greasy and it will break it up so if you want it to stay on day all day you're gonna use a more powder base um, you're gonna avoid cream and oil free moisturizers um, I'm finding it I've had a friend I've had a moisturizer that I've used on and off and I don't know I think finding moisturizer is very particular to every person's skin once again we all have different skin types and we also have different combinations of different skin types so finding the right stuff for you can take some time it's obviously taken me several years and I'm still not getting it so if anyone's got any suggestions tips tricks water and they also suggest no glosses or satin type finishes for your skin just because you're already greasy i don't really care because everybody's like oh you're so like that healthy glow and i'm like mm, it's grease <clears throat> i didn't write so for sensitive skin types you want to use hypoallergenic cleansers and avoid harsh products that use alcohol in or alcohol content and you want to use um, fragrance free cleansers and use more soothing like using aloe or chamomile uh, no harsh exfoliants obviously your skin is already sensitive enough any adding any harsh chemicals or exfoliants to your skin is going to make you more prone to react um, they also suggest looking into organic and natural makeup also obviously testing before you go full hog and you know put it all over your face and you might get a reaction um, they suggest not using too much liquid foundation because it'll be less likely to irritate your skin and a yellow tone foundation just because if you have sensitive skin your skin is more prone to be a little bit more pinker and you know using the opposite side of the color wheel will help make it look like a more seamless base and using a beige tan color on your eyes once again to help deal with the the redness around your eyes they also suggest wax based pencils rather than um, liquid liner for your eyes because well it's just more helpful so based on my information taken from both of these books I'm dealing with either with a oily combination dry dehydrated type of skin so it's easier to just say combination um, what I'm doing right now for my skin is not a lot I have an oil based cleanser and I use a glycolic toner on my skin and uh, an oil free moisturizer but as you can see, I still have a lot of breakouts. Um, I have enlarged pores and just trying to learn how to deal with my skin as I mature is interesting. Um, the bags under my eyes have always been there regardless of how much sleep I get and how much water I drink. I just have always had these circles. So, um, I'm kind of on the lookout for a new eye cream. I'm completely in the dark as to what to use. I'm also like, do I have to pay this much to look like I'm still 30? But I do moisturize every day. Even though my skin is greasy, we, you still should be using moisturizer. Um, so, I guess we figured out my skin type. I uh, I hope you found this video informative.
and I don't know if I'd ever do a skin tear skincare type vlog for this but if you want to see maybe my morning routine or my nighttime routine you know just let me know and I will talk to you later